Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with Aisha and I'm going to be creating some black and white images. But I also know that if you're not too careful shooting black and white because there's no color information in your frame, it might be boring. Also, if you're not a bit dramatic with your lighting, again, it can be boring. So the way I want to add interest is I'm not going to be using my traditional modifiers like the soft boxes where you have a wash of light in your frame. I'm going to create pockets or textures of light just to add to the texture and depth in the shot. Also, we're shooting against a very black backdrop and I'm using my V flat as a backdrop in this case. So now for my lighting, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be creating different textures of light. So this top light is from Ulanzi, it's a 40 watt LED, and it's just creating a top down lighting effect in the frame just to add more drama, you know, cause it's a hard light coming down, we're going to have some deep shadows and all of those things are what is going to like change the values in our light and dark tones, creating depth and texture in the frame. Our main light, which is being modified with um, non-light projection attachment, is gonna create a shape onto the backdrop. So we have black, and then where the light is gonna fall is going to be brighter. So we're going to have that contrast between the very dark tones of the backdrop versus where the light is hitting. And also because I'm not feathering this light or because I'm not using a softbox, you will be able to see the defined edges of the light. And that is also going to create another level of interest. Plus where we will position here, it's also going to add more interest in the angles that we'll shoot from. Again, because we're shooting with these two hard lights and my camera settings are going to be, you know, darkening this entire scene, there's a high chance that we will be losing some of the information in the frame. But as you can see from this video camera, we have like a very beautiful backdrop and we have some nice textures in there. But if I limit it to just these two hard lights, you will not see everything else happening in the frame. So because of that, I have my third light, which is a Flashpoint 400, and I'm shooting that into a V-flat. And what it's supposed to do is just lift up the dark levels in the frame so that we can see some of the information in the frame so it's not too dark. Let me just start shooting each light one after the other so you can see exactly what each light is doing in the frame. I'm just shooting head on onto my model, Aisha. But then again, I can vary where I'm shooting from and all of that. I just want to establish what each light is doing, like I said before. My camera settings, I'm at one over 200, F2.8 and ISO 100. So if I take a shot right now, this is what we're getting. You can see that it's totally dark. The only moody light going on is the top light that is coming from the top. Now that we have that, we want to be able to define exactly where our main light is, what it's doing and where it is in the frame. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Aisha, are you ready? It's an LED light. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning on our main light and as you can see, we have this beautiful texture on the backdrop. So if I take a shot right now, this is what it looks like. We have a decent exposure. We have this top light creating a very nice effect. The colors are really rich and punchy because of the hard light. But then again, like I said, we're losing a bit of information in the rest of the frame. So what I'm going to do now is turn on my strobe and I'm just turning that on on the trigger. And I have set it to one over 64. Yeah, and by doing that, I just lifted the levels in the frame and it is amazing. I really love the shot. It's really simple, but I feel like it has more character and it's a little bit different from what you would traditionally see. You also not be able to tell that this was shot in a studio, it could have been anywhere and I love it. So Aisha, are you ready for us to start working? Oh, by the way, I'm also shooting with my 24 to 70 so that I can vary my focal length, 24 to 70, you know, just to add more interest as well. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, oof. Oh yeah, that's it, that's a cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Can you bring your chin down just a little bit? Yeah. Actually, like maybe lean a little bit more. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Keep it. Beautiful. One last shot. Chin up a little bit. Yeah. But now we're drowning. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you. But I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be. I 
All right, so right now I'm inside Capture One and I did say that I wanted to shoot these images in black and white. I'm just gonna tap on one of them, just go into saturation and then just take out all of the saturation. So it gives me an idea of how it's going to look like in black and white. But then I will take my time and then adjust the tones properly when I sit down and edit. But this just gives me a good visual. So I can copy this, um, this adjustment, maybe go on to another. Oh, this is so nice, even in color and I can paste it, and this is what it looks like in black and white. So I'll just go ahead and do a few more shots with Aisha and see what we can come up with. Yeah, that's nice. But now that you're doing that, just enter the, yeah, right there. Perfect. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you. But yeah. I don't be like you. There's yeah, that's amazing. Trying, nice. Crying, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. All right, so that's been it for today's video. Let me know what you think about the images that we created. Um, do you like the black and white or do you like the color? Let me know in the comments down below. Or do you want to recreate what we did? If you have a couple of these, let me know as well. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, Aisha, for gracing us. Catch you guys in the next video. And remember, don't ever give up. Telling me I should be dying or be